Here on News 10, we recently shared why experts are blaming climate change for severe weather impacts and sharing how you can help grow a healthy environment as Alan Prather, the interim director for Beale Botanical Gardens on Michigan State University's campus. And Alan, what is the power behind planting trees to combat climate change? Taylor, thanks for having me. The, yeah. the real reason that you want to plant trees when it comes to climate change is because trees absorb carbon dioxide. So I like to think of it this way. You and I generate carbon dioxide when we drive our cars to work and all of those other things we do. Uh, trees actually take up that carbon dioxide, use it in photosynthesis. They produce sugars to help them grow, but also things like to make maple syrup. And then finally, um, they generate oxygen as part of that process with you and I take in. So it's a win-win situation. Trees are our best friends. Trees are our best friends, and they do so much more than combating climate change. How else can they benefit the environment and the ecosystems around them? So trees, firstly, can combat flooding because they take up a lot of water, they use a lot of water, their structure will hold soil, they provide a lot of habitat for other plants and other animals um, around them. They um, are generally just um, the, sh the main structure in ecosystems around, around Michigan, so supporting those supports all of our environment. Yes, and continuing to support us humans as well. So you talked about photosynthesis, carbon dioxide being absorbed by the trees, and then they're releasing that oxygen. So how else can trees help benefit us and our well-being? Well, first, I like to think we're part of the ecosystem. So all <laughs> those things I just talked about support our well-being in, in addition to that. But there's a lot of science that shows, for instance, that just having trees um, reduces stress. Being around trees makes people happier, puts them in a better mood. So there's tons of science to support that kind of thing. And I also would say on Michigan State University's campus, we have you know over 22,000 trees as part of our campus arboretum. And all of those trees are 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 what make our campus so beautiful. They also um, are part of what um, MSU very proudly recognizes um, as their sustainability efforts. And MSU is ranked number two in the nation and number 26 worldwide on colleges' campuses for sustainability. So they support us in that way. There's just an endless number of reasons why trees support us. And that's why we say go green, right? Go green, absolutely. <laughs> well, on a, or happening this weekend, a lot of students will be saying their final go greens, go whites on campus, being a student on Michigan State. And so it's going to be pretty packed this Friday, and that's another event happening with Arbor Day. What can you tell us? Yeah, so firstly, congratulations to those 10,000 students, almost 10,000 students graduating this weekend. Super exciting. Um, our Arbor Day fascists festivities um, start at 11 o'clock and we're going to meet people at the rock on campus that's at farm lane and near auditorium road um, what we're going to be doing is firstly celebrating the 150th anniversary of the campus arboretum by planting 150 trees along the red cedar river so that does two things firstly they're native trees supporting our native biodiversity but also they're reforesting the edge of the red cedar river in that part of campus which provides habitats for endangered bats in this case because they live along the river on campus and for you know a lot of birds on campus a lot of a lot of things are really important so we're working to restore the Red Cedar River to kind of its former glory and um, this, this will be part of that we're letting people actually plant those trees for us so we want people to come to visit to plant a tree if yeah. you plant a tree you get to take home a tree because we have 150 trees to give away that's awesome so you can come and get your arbor day tree by planting a tree on campus and then also taking one with you there'll be other gifts yes really importantly sparty's going to be there at and he'll be saying go green too <laughs> so come get your picture taken with sparty all um, right just, we're also going to have a lot of local partners uh, and campus partners that focus on sustainability so you can learn a lot by coming to that event also hey this friday go to the rock at 11 a.m alan thank you so much for joining me in Michigan Matters. Thank you for Taylor for having me. I appreciate of it. Of course, and it's too cool to probably have your plants out right now. So, Andy, what can you tell us about this freeze warning? Yeah, we're going to have to protect some of those.